Here in the shores of Mozambique live various aquatic creatures. A variety of fishes navigate through the waters, but these are not the only creatures that roam the area. The blue dragon mollusk, called the Glacius Atlanticus, floats about the surface of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Ocean. These mollusks are in the Animalia Kingdom and are a part of the Mollusca phylum. They belong in the Gastropod class and are a part of the Glucidae family, and their genus is Glacius. The blue dragon mollusk can reach up to 40 millimeters in length and has a single row of up to 84 serratas, which are little outgrowths on the side of the body that look like tiny fingers and gives these creatures a dragon-like appearance. The blue and silver color helps it blend into its environment. The blue dragon maneuvers itself by swallowing air that it stores in its stomach and floats upside down on top of the surface tension of the ocean. The blue color is faced up to blend in to look like the water when looking at it from above, and gray in color on their heads when looking at it from the bottom. This adaptation helps them camouflage into their surroundings and increase their chances of survival. But don't be fooled by its small appearance. These little critters hold a very powerful sting. They defend themselves from predators by using their stinging cells from the Portuguese man of war, a powerful jellyfish that could be fatal when it comes in contact with human skin. The blue dragon holds a special adaptation that increases their chances of survival. They're immune to jellyfish stings, a driving force of their survival. They can engulf and attach to the big pieces of its prey by the stronghold of its chitinous jaw. It can protect itself from the sting both by secreting mucus and by hard discs in its skin. These sea slugs can be cannibalistic when needed. The sea slugs hold special sex organs and make them hermaphroditic, meaning they both contain male and female mating parts. These eggs float freely in the water and place on the remains of prey until the larvae hatch. These creatures can be found all over the world, especially in tropical regions of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. They can be found in the east and south coast of South Africa. They live pelagic lives, meaning they go where the currents take them, and it's hard to protect them because they're circumglobal. These sea swallows are in high demand, and selfish individuals could drive them to their extinction. These animals will only thrive if we choose to keep them in their natural habitats, and not keep them as pets.